Realtor and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I am going to be making a copycat caramel brulee latte from Starbucks, or at least attempting to. I got this one today so that I can compare my copycat to the real deal. So that's what I have here. Um, and I'm gonna be using this new frother that I'm gonna be unboxing for you guys. My Estree House is sponsoring today's video, so I thought it'd be really fun to make a fun holiday drink. So let's go ahead and we're gonna unbox this. And then I also have all the things I need to make it and then I found a recipe online to help me guide me along in the process of making this drink so that I have some idea of what I'm doing. So with that being said, before we get started, I'd love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So let's unbox this baby first. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna move the other stuff out of the way. So this brand is My Estree House and it says Truth in Household Coffee Appliances. It says it's the world's very first dual function milk frother and so I'm very excited to get this open. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I have one from Nespresso that I love, so I'm hoping that this one is even more fantastic because it has more options. So let's take this out of the box. First, there's a booklet with instructions on how to use it. I'm probably gonna need that. Whoa, okay, this is massive. This is the milk container. This is so big. It has paper inside of it. This is so big, but it's like stainless steel. And then it has the frothing bit in here. I am honestly so confused about how this works, but I know it will. So it has this regular frothing thing it had like that you normally have in a frother. So that looks cool. And then there's also this, which I guess stays on there. And then I read that this is a hot chocolate whisk. So it's supposed to help you mix hot chocolate better. I just like set it inside. So I guess it like magnetically works. So that's cool. The lid for this. It's also really nice that you can take this off because then you can wash this completely separately from anything that's like working parts, if that makes sense. There's a cleaning sponge. It's gonna be an awful sound, but let me take it off. Interesting. That's very interesting. I guess it's to make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies in there. And then this is the last bit. This is the base of it, I guess. There's another piece of paper there. This is gonna be so satisfying. That was fantastic. Okay, this is cool. It has three different settings on it. It has, so I guess it sits like this. That's actually really cool. Okay, instruction time. How does this work? Okay, yeah, so it says that, oh, okay, so it shows you what the temperature is. That's cool. So let me plug it up, that might help. Sorry, you can't see my head. I'm not quite short enough. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I guess that's the temperature of what it will be on the inside. Oh my gosh, okay. So you press this button to choose what kind of froth you want. So this is low froth, medium froth, and high froth. Let me get it closer so you can see it. Okay, so you have low, medium, and high, and you just press this button to change the amount of frothing that you're doing. And then I'm guessing this changes the temperature. Okay, so there's 120, 140, 160, and then I think that's cold. Let me see what it says. Um, ordinary temperature. Oh, okay, so it's like a box. So it's saying like ordinary temperature for a cold latte. They And then this also, the this gives you recommendations. So they say using low froth or the temperature for cappuccinos. So 120 for cappuccinos, this for lattes and cappuccinos, and then this for lattes as well. So that's really cool. And then it also tells you for the density of the foam. That's so cool, which of things, things to use. And also I can feel that there is a magnet. So when it turns on, oh yeah, it's pretty strong in there. That's really cool. So we're gonna be making a latte. So we'll most likely be using the medium froth with the full frothing whisk set for a latte. And we're probably gonna be using it at 140 degrees. That's really cool. Um, I kinda wanna wash it. So I'm gonna froth some soap in here and try to clean this out and then we'll go from there. Also, it looks like it has an auto off feature, which is cool. Okay, so also I don't know if you can see this. Um, it might be hard to focus, but there is a max fill line for each setting. Okay, so you put this in here, there, and then the power button turns it on. Yo. Okay, I'm gonna stop it so that I can clean this out, but I mean, I brought the soap up. Okay, so now that I have got all that sorted out, this looks actually super easy once I just played around with it, but I do love that there are so many different options for you to pick what you want and for like the best, I guess the best option for different drinks. And then I know in the back of this, there's also recipes, which I think is super cool. And then some more information on the whisks that you use, just so that it's easier to get to it. So that's cool. I'm actually, oh, that's hot. Okay, don't touch it, Hunter. Oh, it's not gonna start, I guess that's a safety feature, so it won't start. But 
but I just touched this button right here and this is actually really hot. So that's not good. I'm um, gonna just touch that, but okay. Let's go ahead and make the coffee. So let me get out my, so basically it tells you to put all this stuff in a, it says to use, it's this recipe is supposed to be used for three or for two servings, but I'm not gonna do two servings. I'm only gonna do one because I'm only one person and I already have one, so I don't need two. So I'm just gonna half it and it said to use three to four shots of espresso. So I'm just gonna use two shots. So let's go ahead and make the espresso. Actually, yes, let's go ahead and make the espresso. <laughs> this is my espresso machine. I'm using this one, which is actually an iced one, but I'm using it anyway because I don't have any more of the hot ones. We're just gonna brew that real quick. Okay, so I have the espresso made. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the mug that I'm gonna be using. That, two shots of espresso. And now it says to add a bunch of stuff to the frother before so you can see it. So it says to add a bunch of stuff to the frother. So that's what we're gonna do. It actually says to froth it on the stove, but since we have this, there's no reason to use the stove. And this is why I want a frother. Um, okay, so it says milk. So it says to use two cups of milk. And since I'm only doing one serving, I'm gonna do two cup. I mean, a single cup of milk. And then it said to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna use half a teaspoon. This thing is a godsend because I, oh, there's not a half a teaspoon on here. So I'm just gonna do it. Okay, well, it's gonna end up being two. There we go. Basically a splash of vanilla. And then it says the caramel and it's supposed to be two to three tablespoons. So we're gonna do about one and a half. Oh, okay, it's two. I can't measure it. Okay, caramel. It says milk, caramel, and a pinch of salt. So I have this sea salt. So let me take it off. I just bought this by the way but it's sea salt, so there's the pinch of salt, the lid on, and let's see, let's do medium broth at 140 degrees and go. Okay, the milk is done and beautifully frothed. So we're gonna pour it into the espresso. Oh, I guess I should have taken that out first. All right, and now I'm going to put some chocolate syrup on top and some salt, just to add a little bit of extra there. And now it's time to taste test. This is my homemade caramel brulee latte and this is the store-bought caramel brulee latte. Okay. I feel like it needs a little bit of something syrup. Not this kind of syrup, but this kind of syrup. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to it. It's just not as sweet as the other one, but the flavor is there. Okay, I just added the extra pumps of caramel syrup and that is freaking phenomenal. That is so good. Holy crap. I can't believe I just made that. I wish you guys could taste this through the screen. Oh my gosh. I think it's actually better than this one. I think it is. Holy, holy cow. That was so good. So that was it. <laughs> that was it. I just made the coffee and that was freaking phenomenal. And I'm plugging out. But that was absolutely delicious. 10 out of 10. Seriously, like this is so good. I wish I was joking about how good it is. Coffee is never gonna be the same again. I am I'm so excited about having this frother. It's so big. And I was able to froth a whole cup of milk. And whenever you have like a smaller one or a handheld one, you just don't get the same consistency of foam. And I'm a big fan, like foam, oh, milk foam. So good. Seriously, that was incredible. And adding the recipe that I had was actually fantastic. Um, So if you guys want to check out my mystery house, I will leave the link in the description box down below. This one I think is $89.99. And then they also have another one that is integrated. So it is a smaller one and the milk part doesn't come out. It is all one piece, so the buttons are integrated into the cup. But honestly, I think this is better because you can wash the cup separately from the part that you plug up, which seems a little easier in my opinion. But I think that one is a little bit cheaper, but honestly, I think this is worth it, the extra $10. Also, I love the white. It's super sleek. I think that looks really nice and it's gonna fit really nicely on my coffee cart. So I'm very excited about having this. It's been sitting in a box on my coffee cart for like a couple of weeks now because I've been waiting to film this video and I'm so excited that I have it now. I did learn to take this out before I start pouring the milk, but overall, very good. So thank you so much, Maestri House, for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys enjoyed this, I will leave a link to the recipe that I used down below. Um, there was like a caramel brulee stuff that you like break up and put onto the top of it, but I didn't want to make that, so I didn't. So uh, that, that I did miss out on. But for the most part, seriously, this was fantastic. And I'm so excited to get more use out of this frother. So yeah, um, if you guys like coffee videos, please just give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Gold, all on your own, but we keep shining.